Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's video is an exciting one, at least for me. Um, so we have been buying or trying to buy like as much VHS as we can to build a collection. And on this particular day, I think it was over the course of two days, we actually found over 300, which was insane. Um, so we found people who were giving them away or who were selling them really cheap in big lots. So that is what this is. I thought about sitting down and going through them all like on camera, but I thought it would probably end up being like an hour long because it took a really long time not filming it and our living room was like a write-off, but so I'm not going to bother stating the name of every single movie we got because that would be you know a lot some of them were even like you know just record it from tv which believe it or not those actually kind of can sell for a lot on ebay which is crazy to me because a long time ago we bought a vcr and like an entertainment stand from someone and they had this huge box of vhs that they were like oh do you want these too and like we just didn't want to be rude so we're like oh sure and there was tons of those tapes that were just recorded from tv but i ended up just throwing them away because i didn't see the value <laughs> but here we are like five six years later i see them all the time on ebay selling for crazy prices for what it is but i guess for some people it's like a time capsule because you're you know getting to see like old commercials and stuff i don't know anyway I had never or have never seen this movie, um, but to me it looks almost like a ripoff of E.T. Um, John had never seen or heard of it either, and we haven't watched it yet, but we're definitely going to just to see what it's all about. Um, so yeah, there was quite a few listings. I think maybe two or three listings where people were just giving like a big lot of them away for like maybe $20. And then there was an ad uh, I saw on Facebook Marketplace for someone who was selling 1200 VHS, which is insane. And he was selling them for a dollar a piece, or if you bought 50, they were 50 cents a piece. So we were like, okay, let's go, you know, to this person's house. So we get there and it's this really elderly couple, like in their 80s, when they were so nice and so cute, but... They were just like talking our ears off the entire time we were trying to look at them <laughs> and it was just really awkward. Um, anyway, they were really nice though. So we ended up getting, I think, 200 from them and we were in kind of a hurry because we were going to the movies and it was like on the way to where we were going to the movies. So we were like, oh, we'll just stop in. But they had them all just like stacked up in boxes. So it took kind of a longish time to go through them. So we were trying to go like as quick as we could so we could get through all of them. But uh, we did end up getting like a ton, but I'm sure there was a ton more that were there that we just didn't have time to look at or we just looked at too quickly. But overall we're happy with what we got we did get a lot of duplicates though between like the ones that we picked and then getting like a bunch of lots that we didn't know what was in them it was just cheap enough that we thought oh this could be like cool i think this was like a made for tv movie maybe but it has um um naomi judd in it And then this, I think, used to be a TV show in the 90s, but that is Valerie Bertinelli on the cover there. And um, I know her because I've been watching the 70s version of One Day at a Time. I've been watching it for a few years. And I'm, I think I'm only on season four, but I do like that show. And then any of the movies that we don't want to keep or, um, well, yeah, I guess that we don't want to keep. We're just going to donate them or... Uh, John's gonna resell them so we're pretty happy with a lot of what we we found we did find a lot of movies as well that we've never seen before but that we like we see like an actor or an actress that we like so we're like oh let's keep it so if there's a movie that we haven't seen before but we think we might like it we're just keeping it and then if we watch it and don't like it we're just gonna donate it
I feel like there is probably a bigger percentage of movies I had never heard of than per like percentage of movies I knew. Um, I think probably mostly because I watch a lot of really old movies, but um, they were, you could tell they were obviously probably, like they had well-known actors in them, so it's probably just me not knowing them. This movie looks like it could be funny with um, James Woods and Michael J. Fox. Never seen it though, never even heard of it until this moment. <laughs> One thing I will say though is there are definitely some VHS that you just always see in like almost every lot. Like there's certain um, movies that we have probably like four or five copies of now. So they just always seem to come up. The Bodyguard is one of them. Titanic is one of them. And every time I go thrifting for VHS, I tend to see them as well. One of the really exciting things though, when we went to the house with the 1200 VHS, they had a box completely filled with James Bond films, which we've been trying to collect them all. And so now uh, there was definitely duplicates in the box, but um, now we have all of them except for, I think maybe three of the newest ones that are like on DVD. Um, so it was pretty cool. Some of them were in like really old, um, boxes too, but then it also had these two movies in it, in the box as well. And it had this really cool, like James Bond story. Uh, we haven't watched it, but I'm assuming it's like kind of documentary style about the making of James Bond movies. I just thought, I just like finding like cool things like that, that are probably on the more rarer side. I've never seen it before anyway. But we're just selling the rest of the duplicate ones that we already had. But that was one of the like older looking boxes. It looks pretty cool. The Breakfast Club is definitely another movie that I see all the time. We have multiple copies of that and we're just selling some of them. I actually already had this box set of these two movies, 16 Candles and Breakfast Club, but it's kind of cool. It was in good shape too. Um, I definitely see a lot of Indiana Jones movies as well when I'm thrifting. Uh, there's like this Star Trek movie. John is actually a fan of Star Trek, but I think he already had this one. I was really excited to find these two Anne of Green Gables movies um, because I haven't seen them before, but I've been wanting to watch them, but they're not on any streaming services. They're on like this one, I think it's just a Canadian thing from like the company that made all of these movies and TV shows, but it's pretty expensive. So I was excited to find those, but these actually resell for a decent amount too. So it's kind of good i might like just watch them and then we might just resell them this is one of my favorite movies ever from the 80s called from the hip starring judd nelson i we actually watched this in school like in law class because it's about a court case um 
and I loved it, but I've never been able to find it anywhere. I don't think it's on any streaming services. Um, so it was really excited. I found that at the house um, with the 1200 and I, I found it right at the very end, actually, that he was like, oh, I have some more over here. And we were like, oh, I don't think we have time. But then I was like, oh, I'll just do a quick scan. And I found that. I was like, oh, thank God we <laughs> like took that last look. I'm definitely getting a lot of my like favorite 80s movies, though, because I love Ferris Bueller's as well. Um, I haven't watched Days of Thunder like since the early 90s, but so I don't even really remember it. But I do love Rain Man. It's one of my favorites. Um, but I think we might have already owned it. But if not, I guess we got it here. <laughs> it's so hard to keep track. It was cool to find these two Kill Bill movies. We're actually, we own them on DVD and we're going to resell them on eBay, I think, because they sell for quite a bit, actually, probably because they came out like in the 2000s. So they probably didn't make as many of them. And I guess people collect them. I had never actually like seen or heard of this movie in my life before, but it keeps popping up like in a bunch of lots and it has a lot of good actors in it. So I'm assuming it's a good movie, but I had just never heard or saw it before in my life, but we have multiple copies now. So <laughs> I've never seen this dogma movie either, but I hear it's supposed to be good. So we found some good ones in here. Of course, we've got another copy of Breakfast Club, um, but I really love the movie The Beach and I haven't seen it for a long time. So I was excited to find that. John was excited to see these Crow movies. It's not the first one. It's like, I think second and third. I didn't even know there was more than one until this moment, I think. Um, I really liked the movie John Q as well. And I didn't, I don't think that we already had that one. This is another movie I'd never seen or heard of before in my life, but it looks um, interesting starring Kevin Costner, this Waterworld movie. So I think we're definitely keeping that one. Right now, if you watched my like VHS collection, you would have saw that the shelves were completely filled already. And this is before, you know, all of these movies. So I'm working on a new setup. <laughs> I think it's going to take a while though. So maybe in a couple of months I will be um, ready for that. I don't know. This Keanu Reeves movie looks super old, but we'd never heard of that either. I've never seen A Beautiful Mind before either, but um, I've heard that it's supposed to be a good movie. I've never seen Fargo never seen this Ray movie either but I remember wanting to watch this movie when it come out when it came out but I just never got around to it which is pretty much like the story of my life <laughs> this movie looks good as well um, but again never never heard of it before same as this movie never heard of it so it's actually really exciting because we now have hundreds of films that we've never seen before um, so well, definitely, I, I feel, I think I might have mentioned in my VHS, um, like, collection video that we, like, don't really even watch TV that much, which is why it takes me, like, a million years to watch a TV show. I do love Girl Interrupted. I was excited to find that. Um, I think I mentioned that I pay for a bunch of streaming services, which is still true, <laughs> even though we rarely use them, just because I like the option of like having things to watch when I am in the mood to watch TV, but I've been thinking about it more and I think I am just going to cancel all of them because we have so much already that I can watch that I don't really need to pay for them.
There's definitely a lot of 90s and early 2000s movies, which isn't bad, but I wish that I would have been able to get more classic films because that's like what I want the most. Although I do have a very sizable collection that I'm pretty happy with. I love this Johnny Depp movie. I feel like it's not that well known, but it's very different, but I don't know. I like it. John introduced me to that movie a long time ago. I love the Analyze This and Analyze That movies. I think we might have both of them now, but I'm not sure. I was excited to find this Clint Eastwood movie. I don't think I've seen this one before. <laughs> what About Bob is a funny movie as well. I actually hadn't seen this until maybe like five or six years ago. I've never seen any of the Alien movies before either. You know, I know they're like big blockbuster movies. But John's a big fan of them, so I think we're going to watch them um, sometime soon. This Fly movie, The Fly with Gina Davis and Jeff Goldblum, we actually just sold a copy, like a sealed copy of this for $350, maybe like a month ago. It's the biggest flip that we've ever done. It was crazy it sold within like 45 minutes too so we probably could have got more money for it but um yeah i don't know we just we were like 350 dollars is a great deal for something we paid a dollar for anyway that is it i'm not sure if i actually end up showing you like all over 300 because it was so insane there were so many different boxes and bags full of them our living room was like a disaster for a solid like three days um but anyway hope you enjoyed this video i'm gonna definitely be working it's like my main focus right now is working on this getting it all set up because i have there's so many boxes just stacked up with nowhere to put them so i'm figuring it out and i'll probably like share a look at it i have a really cool idea that i'm gonna try to execute um so I'll probably give you guys a look at that when it's done. It just might be a few months from now. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you again soon.